Greetings, I'm your host, Bill Weather. In this video, we're going to discuss a new discovery in the Shemitah Revelation. As some of you know, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's books, The Harbinger and The Mystery of the Shemitah, have been flying off the bookshelves more than any other Christian book in the last 20 years. And in his books, he thoroughly documents this seven-year economic biblical cycle we've been under for more than 40 years now. However, I'm going to add a new discovery to Rabbi Khan's revelations, something that is absolutely stunning. Now to lay the foundation for this new discovery, we've got to understand how God speaks through the number seven. If you read the book of Revelation, there are seven lampstands, seven stars, seven spirits of God, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven horns, seven eyes, seven angels, seven thunders, seven plagues, seven golden bowls, seven heads of the beast. Other sevens God has made throughout creation are the seven continents, the seven oceans, seven keys in the music scale, A through G, seven colors of the rainbow, seven days a week. There is also seven major classes of nutrients, seven wonders of the world, and on and on. God is woven in number seven all throughout creation and all throughout scripture. But guess what else is based on the sevens? God's prophetic calendar, or in other words, the timing of super huge prophetic events soon to come. And in a bit, we'll go through it from scripture. And you know what else the number seven means? It has nothing to do with luck. The biblical number seven is the number of completion or fullness. It's where we get the word several or to sever, a cutting off. And as I'm going to show, if seven is the number of fullness and severing, then seven times seven would be even more of a fullness and severing. Now, to lay the foundation of understanding for this new discovery. Here we have a chart of the last 40 years of economic chaos that's hit the U.S. Every major market shock took place on a Shemitah year, a Shemitah year being every seventh year. The Shemitah is from Leviticus 25 in the Bible where God divides his calendar into seven year intervals. And once the cycle reaches seven cycles of seven years, he then calls for a 50th year to be counted on top of the entire cycle, equating to a super Shemitah, which was called the year of Jubilee. Here it is in scripture. Six years you shall sow your field. But the seventh year shall be a Sabbath rest for the land. You shall not sow your field, nor prune your vineyard. And you shall then number seven Sabbaths of years, seven times seven years. You shall then cause the trumpet of Jubilee to sound throughout all your land. And you shall hallow the fiftieth year. But then God warns the Israelites that if they don't keep his commands, this is what would happen to them. I will destroy your high places, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths. As you can see, this pattern of sevens is how God dealt with ancient Israel, and it's also how God is dealing with America today. Every seventh year, we've had what equates to a modern-day forced Sabbath of judgment, the economic collapses. Now, not covered by Rabbi Khan in his books, here is the new discovery. In this economic crash chart, we see that every seven years, we've had crashes and chaos happen to us as a nation. If we count the events of this seven-year cycle, we come to one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh cycle, finishing in 2015. And we as a nation have come to our fullness and time of severing. These cycles of seven started with the crash of 66 when the market dropped 20 percent and was the first financial crisis since World War II. From there to 2015 marks 49 years and seven cycles of seven. The time of fullness and severing is almost complete. We are going to get a judgment event in this nation like we've never seen before. 
and we're going to cover what I think that is in a minute. But here is another shocking revelation. In the Bible, when the seven years of seven are up, then God counts a fiftieth year, that jubilee year, equating to a super Shemitah. It's like the culmination of the whole 49 years crunched into one year. And that year for America's Super Shemitah is the year 2016. That's got me on the highest alert because as God has revealed in Leviticus chapter 25 and 26, like he did with ancient Israel, if we do not repent as a nation, we will get a Super Shemitah of judgment that hits the nation, a culminating judgment for these last seven cycles of seven. Remember, if seven is the number of fullness and severing, then seven times seven is even more so. But even more than that, the Super Shemitah, the 50th year, would be the most severe. So now, between 2015 and 2016, it's going to be proven how wrong we've been as a nation. Because America's not going to repent. But there is hope. Jesus never gets tired of forgiving. On a personal level, all we got to do is get honest and fess up and believe that He is the one to come to save us and the planet. Because if you truly believe that faith will lead you to turn from your selfish living and embrace the Lord Jesus in spiritual cleanliness, sexual purity, and what is good, kind, loving, and holy. This new discovery and revelation of America's seven years of seven is the biblical pattern of God's timetable for dealing with this nation and proven so by the events that's taken place every seven years for the last 40 years. If America does not repent, we should expect at least two deadly events to hit, one between August and October of 2015 for the next Shemitah, and one between August and October of 2016 for the Jubilee Super Shemitah. Now there is way more confirmation to this chart, and in 2001 and 2008 crashes, the stock market had its biggest ever point drops on the exact same day, seven years apart in God's lunar calendar, called the 29th of Elul, which was the most peak time of all the seven-year calendar. The 2008 crash was a 7% drop, with the 700 billion bailout plan dropping in God's calendar on the last day of the seventh year of the seventh month and dropping 777 points. Hello, how many seven signs do you need to believe? There is also an amazing supernatural 777 sign God had given me back in 2008, which you can read of here at the quakeup.org site. Just click this link and scroll down to get to it. Now let's talk about what I believe those events to be that are going to begin to crash the American Empire. Here at the QuakeUp.org site, there are four events I'm watching for. Those four events are the West Coast Tsunami and Megaquake, the East Coast Tsunami, and the Multi-City Terrorist Attack. If you click this link on the Tsunami and Megaquake to hit California, you'll see that in several of the testimonies, these two events are supposed to happen at a late summer season, that culminating time in the Shemitah between August and October. Though no year of a late summer season is mentioned, these testimonies of what's coming to California in the late summer season, the timing of them are a prophetic alignment with God's Shemitah calendar. Remember how I was telling you of the Super Shemitah Jubilee year? And remember how we read in Leviticus 25 and 26, if a nation who God is dealing with does not recognize him and repent, then what was meant to be a jubilee super shemitah of blessing would then become a super shemitah of judgment. Now here is another shocking revelation about the super shemitahs. The statutes contained in the super shemitahs, the jubilee, was that all slaves would go free, all debts would be canceled, the land would rest from farming, and all land would return to original ownership. But God says in Leviticus that if Israel did not keep the super shemitah, and let the land rest, that the land would be taken from them, and enemies would breach the borders. 
This is what I believe the judgment is that's coming to America. Land is going to be taken from the U.S. in the form of tsunamis and earthquakes to fulfill the statute of the prophetic Shemitah timetable. This is what I'm watching for from August to October of 2015 and 2016. And if you start seeing these events coming to pass, you need to start hunkering down and begin to prepare for even bigger tribulation because of the World War III prophecies. Unless America repents, all these events are going to come upon her because there also need to be an atonement. The U.S., for its own greedy benefit, has either destabilized or overthrown governments across the planet, causing many people to die of disease, bombings, poverty, and all sorts of bloodshed, as well as the notable completion of the first cycle with the passage of Roe vs. Wade in 73 and killing over 50 million unborn babies. The blood is not just crying out from America, it's crying out from all over the world. So to get honest, you're going to have to fess up. You've been fooled to think America is so innocent. But God has been proving to us this judgment to come for close to 49 years now in these seven sevens of economic judgment. The pattern is set. Even an atheist would have to admit the pattern is stunningly stubborn. If this is all too hard for you to swallow, it may be because your security is wrapped up in this world and not in the world to come, where Jesus Christ will give us a new life, a way better life, and guess what? It lasts forever. No more bills to pay, no more having to grind it out in traffic jams and keep up with the rat race, no more hunger and poverty, no more loneliness, no more greedy banksters, no more war, no more witchcraft politics. Perfect peace is coming from the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, Cristo Jesus. Usted puede vivir para siempre en gloria en Cristo Jesus. You can live forever in glory in Jesus Christ. Until the next one, please visit the website for so much more of God backing these prophecies in signs, wonders, dreams, and visions. It's all at quakeup.org. God bless you and prosper you to prepare for the hard times coming, but always look up to Jesus Christ, the one to set us free from the matrix of this fallen, ridiculous world.